Where do trains go after a hard day's work? To answer that, I'm taking you behind the scenes here at Hornsey Depot. Which, unsurprisingly, is one thing near Hornsey. Cal from GTR has very kindly invited me to this massive facility where they keep Great Northern and Thameslink trains shipshape. We have quite a substantial yard. We can hold over 250 coaches. We do level 1 to 5 maintenance. A level 1 to 4 maintenance is exam work, which is an MOT on your car. That lasts for 3 to 5 years before we do a level 5 overhaul, which is a more in-depth component changes. We have lathe turning. We cut the wheels around when they've been damaged. Earlier, I spent some time on London's weirdest underground line where I learned something chilling. You're turning all the signals off? Yes. Drivers no longer look at signals like traffic lights on the side of the line. They look at the screen in front of them and all the information on how far they can go is provided to them there. It means that the service is more reliable as we're no longer literally changing light bulbs to keep the trains running. The train knows where it is by reading Belize's, which are like credit cards on the track. The train runs over them, knows where it is, talks over a private mobile phone network to the signal box. York then sends back over this mobile phone network a signal that tells the train how far it can go safely. Well, this has been fantastic. Thank you for inviting me along, Cal. Tom, you're part of Team Great Northern, Railblazers family. You're always welcome. Can I do some Southern stuff too? Mm, might be controversial. Might have to ask Luca. I'll see what I can do. Oh, God. 